Hello everyone, welcome back to the MatVidPro AI YouTube channel. I've got a metric ton of AI news from this week. I'm saving the best for last, so stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. I want to open this up with some cool new MatVidPro AI generators that are now on Glyph by Insectagon on my Discord server. They'll be linked down below if you want to make funny images of me like this where I'm running out of target carrying as many lemons as I can hold. I'm even the latest hit artist on the street. This is all powered by C Dream 4, a model I just covered in yesterday's video. For a deep comparison against Nano Banana, check that video out. There is also a Nano Banana variant as well. The TLDR on this model is that it is an absolute banger. It has reached number one in the artificial analysis image editing leaderboard. I still think Nano Banana is better for characters, but on image editing tasks with no characters, this thing really seems to be the winner, and the natural image gen is also incredibly good. Next up, we've got a new AI company called Alter Ego. This is both really cool and also somewhat misleading, but it comes with a huge twist. Alter Ego is the first near telepathic wearable that enables silent communication at the speed of thought to an AI device. Check it out in action and then I'm going to talk a little bit about it. That's Europa who represents Europe shaking hands with America to celebrate the first transatlantic telegraph cable. That's cool. Okay, reminder is added to your notes app. Awesome. Basically, wearable mobile device that sits on your head like this, kind of strange looking. It's got cameras, so it can see the things that you see. In action, it looks like it's reading his mind. It's very much how it's presented, but it's not reading his mind. It's reading the muscle signals in his mouth actually speaking out those words. I will say, it's a silent form of communication that is quite fast. Still requires this physical movement of your mouth, and you might look kind of crazy mouthing things off in the store, trying to check off your grocery list. Here's the twist though. Not a day later, we have a brand new paper on a chip that was developed to actually read minds. This comes from Stanford University. It's a BCI that can decode inner speech. Obviously, still very early stuff, but based on early trials, it is genuinely promising technology if reading thoughts is your goal. Safety really is the big concern here, and not all of your thoughts are useful, so this is still in the research phase. I just found it so crazy because this was released a day later. Imagine combining this technology with this. Somehow I feel like we're still only at the beginning. Next up, a new video generation model has hit the scene. Lucy 14B by Descartes AI, designed to be the fastest large image to video model ever. This is exclusively available on Fall AI and their website where you can actually run a prompt for free. I gotta say, I didn't think it was gonna be all that great, but it's pretty impressive. This is an epic image image to video I made with it. The wizard is taking the lemon spell and casting it upwards. Really cool motion. It's cinematic, punchy. I like the physics and the style. And this generated in about five seconds. I also tried a couple of other prompts like this lady using this lemon juicer that sits on your head. I just thought that this was such a complex idea for it to understand and get right. And I really like that it actually shows her turning and juicing the lemons. And then the juice, you know, is going into her mouth. You can't really see it flow through the tube, but it's pretty funny that she has a full lemon in her mouth and is just leaking out. It understood the assignment, though. It got it done. I gotta say, it was pretty cool. Here is an ant with a human tongue licking a lollipop. This was also super cool to generate. Again, it has understanding of these weird concepts and can reproduce them quite well. It's steerable. The quality is acceptable, but not A1. It's super fast and it's mad cheap to run. Unfortunately, this sucker is just not open source. And right on this website here, you should be able to try the model. I got one prompt through, but now every time I click, it seems to just not give me anything. However, it is available exclusively through Fall AI. I actually talked about this website yesterday for using Seadream 4. Make a one-time payment to get some money on your account, and then it's eight cents per generation. Only five seconds, so not super long, but it does well with image references and motion. Kind of reminds me of Midjourney 
video a little bit. I really wish this one was open source. I've got a couple more videos generated with the help from some folks on my Discord server. They provided the input image. This is pretty cool, kind of like a metal band animated album cover, but it's got the creative liberty to be messy, I think. When you get to really complex images and prompts, it does tend to hallucinate quite a bit. I really like this video. I think it's a good generation. Again, give me that action-packed mid-journey vibe. The gears are all spinning really cool, but you can see some of these boats coming. They collide with the earth. They disappear. There's morphing and shimmering. It's fast and potent, but it's not going to be the highest quality cinematic video gen you've ever came across. This circular shot with this masked figure is pretty awesome. It looks like the people are eviscerating and disappearing in the background. It gives off like this omnipotent and powerful vibe to it, but like, yeah, as we slow down, we can see that there's definitely detail loss. So yeah, this model is pretty stellar. It's cheap. It's fast. A ton of fun to play around with, but for more professional projects, highly stable, lower movement scenes are probably what you're going to want to use it for. Minimax also released Music 1.5, their new music gen model. You're supposed to be able to use it actually completely for free on their website, but as you can see by these failed generations, I can't get anything through right now. This one is also available on Fall AI, but I'm really not a fan of how they set up the user interface. You just get the prompt and then the lyrics prompt and it's pretty strict on how many lyrics you can upload. The song generation isn't bad, but compared to Udio, Producer AI, Suno AI, not at that same echelon. Take a quick listen. in my bloodstream sour holy things when life gives you lemons i build a ufo drop them on the people yelling juice will overflow and then it hallucinates the rest of the song pretty much. It is not terrible, but compared to the state-of-the-art options we have today, definitely wouldn't be my go-to. It is very, very cheap. Shockingly, Stability AI also dropped a new AI model. This is Stable Audio 2.5. They say it's built for enterprise-grade sound production. It can do both music and sound effects. This one actually is pretty great, especially, I think, for sound effects. It's fast and follows prompts well. Check it out. Here's the website where you can try it. So far, I've been using it for free. The last time I used stable audio was two years ago. And to give you a good idea of the difference here, at least for sound effects, here is Pits of the Underworld opening up flames and screeching. The old September 2023 model. Here's the new model. I think you'll find it's very cinematic. Yeah. Doors to the underworld have absolutely opened. Generated a couple of music samples for you guys too. These are orchestral, more ambient things. Seems to really be its strong suit. If you want to do lyrics, my recommendation is to stick with Suno or Udio. Just a hint of AI-esque compression artifacting. Here's where it actually becomes a hero song.
Ethereal Soundscape. It's giving Starfield vibes. OpenAI has finally added MCP support for tools in ChatGPT. In developer mode, developers can create connectors and use them in chat for actual right actions now, not just fetching data or searching for it. It can even trigger Zapier flows and connectors can be combined. This is super exciting, but this comment from Matthew Sabia here left me feeling a little underwhelmed. He says after trying it out, he realized that you need to use your custom tools in developer mode too. And this disables the ability to use any of the regular tools in ChatGPT, including basic things like web search, which, yeah, kind of cancels out doing anything actually useful here. ChatGPT heavily relies on these built-in connectors. The ability to pull the latest data from the web is crucial. On the Google side of things, Derek Nee here claims to have spoken to a Gemini 3 lead engineer. The only information we're getting is that it's not going to happen this month, but soon. You want my honest opinion? I think it's going to happen early December, if not probably in January. Could be sooner though. Derek also says that 3.0 Flash, the smaller variant, will be smarter than the current 2.5 Pro, which is a model that has really held its own for quite some time now. The Gemini website also finally supports the ability to upload audio files. As Paul says, it's a great way to summarize or explain podcasts, meetings. I've actually done testing on 2.5 Pro's ability to understand audio, it will not be able to guess songs for you correctly. It's okay with certain sound effects and the best with speech. Kimmy K2 Think is also here. It's only a 32 billion parameter model, but it actually competes with heavyweights that are much larger. It's got state of the art benchmarks and it's built with only open source data sets. It is indeed open source, competing directly with OpenAI's older O3 models model at a way, way smaller parameter size. This could be a fantastic model to run locally. Hermes 4 by Noose Research is my current favorite. We'll have to see how it compares to this. Next up, coming from Chubby, Albania has a new AI virtual minister. Her name is Delia. It means sunshine in Albanian, and she will be responsible for all public procurement. The article itself is actually pretty short, doesn't share too many details. Some folks like Norbert here say that it's mostly only symbolic. The AI isn't a legal minister yet, but this is the first model that I know of that is designed and trained specifically for governmental oversight and work. I'd be really intrigued to see how this would work out over time. If this does get implemented, it could be a fantastic study case, and what are some of the pitfalls associated associated with that. I told you guys I was saving the best for last and I was not joking. This is Humo by ByteDance, human-centric video generation via collaborative multimodal conditioning. This is a really smart way to push for more controllability with AI video generation and the results from this model are pretty mind-blowing. It can take in photo references, it can take in audio references, it can take in text and combine it all together for one output. It seems highly steerable. It's also Apache 2.0 open source. It's also built on the back of many other open source AI projects. Take a look and prepare to have your mind blown. These are all raw outputs from the model, of course, with references uploaded. True, we don't tie ourselves in knots over a discreet bit of buggery, but you don't have to lecture me about wartime expenses. I'm quite familiar with Things that are happening right now, thousands of miles away. I mean, to kill people who bother you. How many are mad? Balls and at my table. Do those people have any better ideas about how to put you on the Iron Throne? Enough to make a difference. Man who fights for gold right. can't afford to lose. 
I can feel the copyright bugs biting. There are plenty more examples. So yeah, it can do the basic text to image with multi image inputs and combine them all together in the same scene. But you can also add text and audio to that and control them. The audio samples that they uploaded to the model to test this are not very cinematic or high quality. So keep that in mind, but pay attention to the lip syncing. Don't forget to check out my stories for those extra bonus codes that you're not going to want to. Love is the one thing we are capable of perceiving that transcends the love. Snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of. Don't be ridiculous. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants to be art. What would art be like without emotions? Tacted. People can't do something themselves. They won't tell you. You can't. You get the truth. At the edge of the water, long it is wild. Remember, this is not like VO3 where it's generating the audio to pair with the video. You are uploading the audio and then it's adhering to that. The lip syncing is incredible. It seems to do a great job with character consistency and adding objects in like this football you see here. Furthermore, you can actually, again, prompt it to control the edits. You can easily change costume on characters and do face swaps like you were seeing in the first video. This is a new level of controllability to be able to upload the references with the exact audio that I want and then use text to direct the scene exactly as I expect. We're making some serious progress towards truly controlling AI video. The main downside of this model is that it only generates up to four seconds and we absolutely need longer than that. 15 seconds is like the bare minimum, I think, for true usable AI video creation, especially with something like this, where we have the audio, we have the references, we have the steerability. VO3 is cool, but it doesn't have this level of control. And somehow this thing is actually open source. Yeah, easily the coolest thing I saw all week and I just came across this today. I hope the community gets to work on this one, increasing hopefully generation time. I also haven't seen anyone hosting it. So without running the model yourself, and I have no idea how much VRAM this thing uses, you're not gonna be able to use it, but I'm sure folks like Kriya AI are gonna pick it up fast. Be on the lookout in the coming week for implementation of this brand new open source release. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. There was a ton of cool AI news this week, despite it being such an insane week. Let me know in the comments if I missed any piece of news that came across your desk. And if you want to see me test and use these models in real time and hear about them as they come out, I highly recommend you join my Discord server. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.